So my name is Maya Bruni. I started running when I was seven years old. And the reason why I started was because I wasn't really that focused in school and my parents said, you need to do a sport of some kind. So I started to do track, I uh, started doing really well and I just went on to become part of the GB squad as a junior. And currently I'm just trying to aim for 2020 Olympic Games. I'm Hannah Williams, I'm a 400 meter athlete. I've been in athletics since I was about 14 years old. I was always torn between dance and athletics. I think it was only when I was about 15, 16 that I kind of chose athletics over dance because it was hard to do them both. So yeah, I kind of started when I was about 14, 15 properly. My name is Finette Adjapong, I'm 21 years old. I do 200 and 400. I got into athletics when I was about 15. I went to track with my friend randomly and then I've just loved it ever since and just stayed and yeah. Being an athlete now, I have to like sort of prioritise my time a lot more and I guess sometimes you have to make sacrifices because knowing you have training the next day. At the end of the day, I sort of have to remember why I'm doing this in the bigger picture because it is important to have a social life and train as well. I think it's hard to go and, you know, party and, you know, especially at university to go to freshers' parties. It's hard to go out on a Friday night if you have training on a Saturday morning. <laughs> you realise that your friends just love that you do sport and that makes you unique and that makes you different and they respect that you put so much hard work into what you do and I think you become an inspiration to others. I think it's so, it's so nice to have that support, especially from the people that you love, really. It is really good to try and stay really social because that kind of makes you happy. And like that happiness then shows in track as well. So I think it is just really important to get the right balance. I think having a strong mindset is as important as being like physically fit. I think it is so important during competitions to just stay really, really mentally positive. It's good to feel nervous because that'll make you run faster. So I think it's just getting the balance of being calm but also being nervous, which is quite hard to do. Surround yourself with positive people or people who support you and people who understand your ambition and I guess putting a plan in place just to work your way to that goal. I think that's quite important to have a plan so you know what you need to do. I think for me it's all about inspiring my community and that always drives me. One day I want to say I am an advocate for young people, young girls. At the moment I work at Brixton Recreation and I work with kids that necessarily don't come from the best of backgrounds and I try to inspire them to get into athletics and sports, get off the street and get into some sports. I feel like in London there's a lot of violence currently. So for me it's really important to make sure that these kids can see that there's other things to do rather than get into the wrong hands, get into the wrong social groups to kind of make their way out of certain environments and really put their mark on the world really, yeah.